They'd gone to West Chermside to answer a public call for help. Within seconds, though, it was the three police officers in need of assistance. Two young constables, Sharnell Cole and Darrell Green, and Sergeant Chris Mulhall, drove from Boondle Station to Hanbury Street just after 3.30 this morning. There to investigate a complaint that a man was threatening to kill a neighbour, the three officers were in a squad car when they were fired on repeatedly. Constable Cole was hit at least 12 times in the face, neck and upper body. Amid the panic, she was still able to radio for backup. Her actions drew praise from the police commissioner. She's quite conscious and very brave, I must say, and brings great credit on the police service, no doubt, and all we have to do now, of course, is to apprehend this lunatic. And no effort was spared to try and do so. Streets were blocked, and with fears the gunman may have taken hostages, cars were searched, with officers' hands never far from their sidearms. Elsewhere, school grounds were checked, with locals being told to take precautions. We're asking people uh, if they hear or see anything suspicious in their area and in their homes to, uh, to not do anything about it except call police. Uh, we don't want anybody uh, to be heroes. Some, like Wendy, didn't need convincing. Common sense prevails, go home, lock your door, stay there till he's caught. The officers were ambushed at close range through an open rear door. The female constable had been in the front passenger side seat. Her two companions were each hit twice. They're lucky to be alive, sentiment shared by Robert Allen, who had an earlier argument with yes, the gunman. Yes. I, I, I am in a bit of fear. Like, um, like he obviously meant some business last night. And it was quite easy, it could have been me and my mates. The police commissioner went further. Well, this person has an obsession with firearms. Uh, calls himself Jesse James and all this sort of thing. And uh, he certainly needs medical care. That man was somehow able to obtain an illegal weapon, a semi-automatic pistol fitted with a silencer. Again, questions have been raised about the effectiveness of gun laws. For the time being, police want to question this man, 32-year-old Nigel Dean Parodi. His family has appealed for him to come forward. We don't want to see you hurt and the police don't want to see that either. Please, Nigel, we beg of you to contact either Dad or myself and we'll make arrangements for you to meet with the police. No one wants anyone else to get hurt. The three injured police remain in good spirits. They are, are very much aware of what's going on and able to communicate with, uh, particularly not only the medical staff, but their parents are with them. Neil Dawley, National 9 News.